Hi, my name is Ali Shersova from Breacher Digital and in this short video we're going to show how you'd measure a the plant of the digital power supply with a Bodhi 100. Here I have drawn a power supply, a simple buck converter, it really doesn't matter which. Uh, here is my injection resistor, our inch. My body 100 is here, it's injecting across the uh, 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 injection transformer, then that goes through, let's for simplicity at first say an analog power supply. I have got my compensator and then my compensator goes to the comparator whereby it generates the PWM, the PWM then drives the MOSFET and the loop is closed. So you can see here that if I wanted to measure the plant, I would put my channel 1 here at point A of the body, so this will be channel 1, and then I would put channel 2 here, and now I am measuring from this point here, measure the PWM gain, go through the plant, down to here, and I stop at this point, so I am not measuring the compensator. So what I end up with is a DC offset due to the PWM, the PWM gain, and then the plant. So because in analog you always have access to this point, this is where you connect your compensator, um, then it is very easy to measure the plant. Now let's have a look at the digital one and see why it's difficult to measure. So this was the analog version. I need to do the same thing for digital. Here is my digital power supply. Again, I've got a power stage, I've got a potential divider, but now this goes to an ADC, a controller inside the microprocessor and the PWM inside the microprocessor. So unfortunately now, as you can see, this area here is inside of my microprocessor. However, point A, where I needed to put my probe from the previous page is in code. I don't have a physical pin that I can put the Bodhi's channel on in order to measure it. So that makes the measurement of plant a little bit difficult. So how do we go about measuring the plant? Well, let's for simplicity assume <clears throat> that here the gain of this potential divider is just a half. So I'm just, I've got to divide by two here. Here is my injection resistor. So I place my injection resistor just like I had done previously. I put my body 100 here with the transformer and I inject just like analog across an injection resistor. Here, I have got a potential divider that is taking the V out and it's sampling it by the ADC. This has got a scaling factor. Let's call it a gain. Let's say for simplicity, it's divided by two. So I've got a scaling factor or a gain of half here. I cannot normally control this. This is decided by other parameters. I cannot really control the gain of the ADC. I cannot control the gain of PWM. What I can control in my code is the type of compensator that I use. Now, normally we would use a 3-pole 3-0 or 2-pole 2-0, but if I want to measure the plant, just for the purpose of the measurement, I change this to a very simple scaling factor K. That is just a proportional controller. So imagine <clears throat> I have got a scaling factor of a half here. For simplicity, let's say I have got a scaling factor of 1 over 5 here. And for simplicity, let's say I've got a scaling factor of 1 over 10 here. Yeah? So the total scaling factor or gains of the pot, the ADC and the PWM is a half times a fifth times a tenth. I have got control over this K. So if I make this K 2 to negate the impact of that and times 5 to negate the impact of this times 10 to negate the impact of that, then the overall gain from this point to this point is in fact 1. In dB world, that is 
0 dB. So when I measure from there to there, I'm going to get 0 dB. And that means that now, even though I'm measuring the entire loop, from here to here to here to here, it's going to cancel each other out. So I, I, I end up measuring the plant. Yeah? Now, I will put just like always my channel 1 and channel 2 like I am measuring the loop but because these are both these channels but because I, I have used this K simple proportional controller everything gets cancelled out and I get the gain of the plant. Now the gain of the plant that I will read will be almost a perfect match provided that uh, you manage to get it regulating. We can talk about that a little bit later. Um, however the phase will have some delay in it from what you measure to what really is happening and that is because it is actually going through the sampling and reconstruction process and therefore there will be some phase delay. So what you read on the body will have some phase delay. However, it's very deterministic so you can negate the effect of this very easily and again we will show you the equations on how you do that and therefore you'll end up with accurate gain and accurate phase of the plant without having access to the point in the software. So um, here we've got the test setup is the usual test setup that we've used in the previous videos. I have got a microprocessor here that is driving the power supply. Instead of having a sophisticated 3.30 uh, controller, I have used just a proportional controller purely to measure the plant. When I come to ship the power supply, I change the controller back to um, a sophisticated controller. But for now, for the purpose of measuring the plan, this has got a controller that is just a proportional gain and I have set it so that it negates all the other gains in the system and therefore, although I am measuring the loop, in fact, because all the other gains set get to zero dBs, I end up measuring a plant. And if you look at the screen, you can see that uh, here I've got my gain. This is a classic look for a voltage mode converter and you can see that I've got a resonant bump exactly what I expected. There's ESR zero. The only thing is that on the phase, the blue trace here, the phase of the, uh, of in, in real life, really the phase is not scrolling down here. The, the reason you see this, this phase loss it's because of the sampling and reconstruction that is in the system. But as I said, we will talk about how you take into account this. If I import this into WDS, you can see that gain is almost a perfect match. The phase, this is the phase the, of, of the simulated plant, but this is the real measurement. However, as I said, this is not real. This is the extra time delays that we have introduced. So uh, I will now change to some slides to show you how you calculate the overall gain for voltage mode and for current mode controllers uh, so that you can negate them. I will also talk about how you calculate the total phase loss uh, in this area here so that you can also negate that and then you get a very accurate gain and a very accurate phase for the plant of a digital power supply.